Okay, let's look at a question from linear law. Okay, so this is example of questions of paper 1, which usually comes up. So let's look at a question. So you'll be given a diagram like this. This is a diagram here. Right, so this diagram, what you have to observe first is you must observe the title given for y axis and also x axis. So, first step observe this. What is in y axis? What is in x axis? So, this is very important. That's the first step. Second, don't worry about this uh, coordinate. Uh, in the question, they're going to give you a uh, equation, as you can see here, they've given you an equation y equals to px3. Okay, so second step is always check out the equation given. Okay, now we can ready to go. So the first question, they ask you to convert the equation y equals to px3 to linear form okay let's try let's try to do this y equals to px3 okay so this is the diagram that we have so in y axis what is stated is log 10 y so if you check here log 10 y and in x axis they have given you log 10 x all right and then the equation which they give is y equals to px3. Now our job is to change this to linear form. Okay. So how to do this is very simple. Uh, what you have to do is you observe this. Like I said just now, we have to observe this and try to change y into this. Alright. So you don't need to worry about x because if one changes, the other automatically will change as well. So, be, since it is log 10, what you're going to do is just add log 10 to y. Okay, because log 10 is easily addable. Right, so what we have to do is log 10 y equals to. So, once you add a log on the left side, make sure you add log at the right side as well. Something like this. Right. So once we are done here, what you have to do is just simply apply the rules of the lock. So if you still remember, make sure uh, you have a bit of knowledge of on lock before answering this. So I'm going to do again y equals to px power of 3. And here comes log 10y. Why do we add this log 10y? Because, because of this y axis right so it's, so once you're done adding log 10 at the left hand side you must add log 10 at the right hand side as well okay now if you notice here we must apply log rules that we learn in form 4 which is uh, it says log a b and c for example right so here we have b and c is times so this one we can derive it as a log a b plus log a c right so times this one denotes times so times becomes always becomes plus so this gonna happen here so this one not changed log 10 y equals to okay now we're gonna change this into log 10 p plus log 10 x power of 3 right so now we basically we have log 10 y okay so this is for sure this is the y you must use the capital y because that's how linear form works and we have a bit of uh, rearrangement to do here because uh, if you noticed y equals to m x plus c right so the 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 unknown x come in front first so what we're going to do is we, here we find x is here so we're going to just switch the places let's switch the place so it becomes something like this log then y equals to log then x3 plus log then p okay now x is in front so we have followed this now if you noticed 
in lock rule, the power could be brought in front. So it becomes log 10y equals to 3 log 10x plus log 10p. Okay, now we have got the line in form, which is this one represents the capital Y, this one represents the M, which is the gradient, this one represents X, the capital X, and this one represents C because there's no unknown here, right? So we have unknown of X here, so we just arrange accordingly, okay, to get the line in form, right? So, guys, just a recap uh, <coughs> if a question comes like this. Our main aim is to look at the titles of x is y and the title of x is x, right? And then please make sure you have noticed the equation here, right? Don't need to worry about the coordinates, right? Because we're just going to answer question number A, convert the equation y into linear form. So what happened is, because this is log 10 y, right? So what we're going to do is from the equation given, we just look at the left hand side, which is y. We just focus on that, then we're going to change it to log 10 y. How to do that? Because there is log 10, we simply can add log 10 to the y, something like this. Okay, now, once done, we must have basic knowledge of log, mainly we call hukum log, correct? Now, once you reach here to this point, times meaning plus in the log. And then we have to rearrange because we want to follow y equals to mx plus c. So since x is here, right? So we're going to do some rearrangement to this point. And power three, you can brought in, can be brought in front to make a place in front. And then we have x and then c. So now we have the linear form of y equals to mx plus c, which is log 10 is y. Three is the m log 10 x plus this is. Alright, so that's all guys. Uh, check out the next video. So I will show you how to answer question number B. Alright.